Okay, so I actually had this vision for like lots of letters, way, way more than this. I'm talking like an extraordinary amount of letters. Yeah, I priced up having that many letters and it would have been like thousand. So for now, it's just these babies. Unfortunately, I also left my glasses at home today, so I'm gonna have to use my uh, studio backup ones. Which, I don't know if these... So, it must have been like five, six months ago that I was watching the Colin and Samir show. You know, the uh, creator economy guys. Before we do that, you have something on the table. Friends of the show, I think. And then they said that Colin had just made his own font. This is my handwriting. I didn't even know you could do that. And I've turned it into a font. For some reason, I just never thought that that was a thing that creators did. I just, I never, and so I bought the font, which they called my font. <laughs> my font, yeah. Yeah. okay. And I used it in some of my videos. Uh, you may have noticed. I think they may have noticed. Now, you know, I'm not a huge fan of another creator's work, art, uh, font being on my videos. You know, I spread a message of uniqueness on this channel. You know, that is my brand. That is what I want for you. So, you know, I'm really sorry, Colin, but today, I'm making my own font, baby. You know, as with anything in life, when you're trying to do something, how do I fix the boiler? How do I bake some bread? You go to YouTube. The first video was too short. The third video, sorry Emma, I'm just personally not about that kind of like vibe. Hey lot, when you come in, do you mind if you could bring in my glasses? The second video though, good duration, cool thumbnail, I like it, click. <laughs> See, I actually really like this guy's vibe. The whole world of fastest available to you guys. Interesting. I actually didn't watch the whole thing. You know, I, I, I tend to do this a bit. Anything instructional, I'll just sort of the main thing though was this website, calligrapher.com. So first thing I had to print out this template and then just like fill out all the letters. See, they recommended I should use a pen, but I wanted to use a marker because I like bold font. I like being able to have the font really small on screen and still being able to read it. Bold. So I'm filling this sheet out and then straight away I make a mistake. So I thought, oh, this will be a test run. I'll just fill them out real quick and this will be a test run. Scan them in. Obviously the scanner didn't work. When do printers, scanners ever actually work? They never fucking work. So I use my phone to scan it in, work fine. Just make sure to put your light source like to the side of the camera so you don't get a big phone shadow on your image. You don't want that. So far this bit took like 10 minutes, which I actually couldn't believe, I'm super chuffed. Then I looked at the default name of the font, which was interesting. Hmm, did Colin use this same website? I also noticed on the basic plan, you had the certain number of ca- Why am I breaking down a fucking font website? So anyway, as I was saying, you know, I scanned the letters in and then I saw them on the screen and honestly, it looked like a seven year old had done it. Yeah, I think uh, this is gonna need some work. Or at least that's what I thought. Turns out that was wrong. You can actually adjust the letters on the website. So I can fix this and this and you know, make this a little slimmer and cut this off, whatever. Which I think is actually great, especially if you're doing a handwritten style. That exclamation mark from earlier, we can fix that. Okay, so whilst I'm busy doing that, let's talk about fonts. Typography is painting with words. Fonts, we see them everywhere we go. But on the most part, subconsciously, the, the font is like a hidden thing because we feel the font whilst our brain is reading the word. Before you even read it, you have sensibility and spirit. You know, maybe 1% of the time I might be like, hmm, yeah, that's a nice font. But the other 99% of the time, I just subconsciously felt the branding. And so the font that you choose to use as a company or a person or whatever, I think it's important that it encapsulates who you are and, you know, what your values are. And that if you combine that with a meaning, then that's spectacular. And making your own could be something to consider. Maybe. And if you like that phrase, making your own, you know where to go. 10 hours of exclusive content with a real focus on helping you find your voice as a creator and ultimately helping you stand out. The whole thing is spread over three weeks, 30 day money back guarantee, all that good stuff. Oh, and I also do a full like breakdown as well. People, you guys love the breakdowns. 
Okay, look, so I know this is like a handwritten vibe and is obviously so much easier to do than like a proper formal font. Yeah, like that's gonna need some like serious illustrator work or something. I mean, that's like a whole other thing. You should have seen me trying to cut out those shapes. Oh. And then once you're happy, you save it, download it, install it, and then boom. Your very own font that is unique to me, you know. I love that. I love that. Got your own font. Have you, Sam, you got your own font? Yeah, I got my own font. And no, sorry guys, this font will not be available for sale. I like that this font is only available on my videos. My font, my videos. That's, that reminded me of, you know, I make my move. Then you're free to check the king. And it's exactly that that you guys want to see anyway, you know, when you land or click on my videos, you want to see something that I've made. Something that only I can make. You want to see something that only I can write? Huh? And you will see this font all over Fida. I've updated the full thing, baby. Oh, amazing. Have you got them? Yeah, I got them. Thank you so much. Sit down. That's the end of the video.